They say in Sandusky County that the area is alive with history. Just how lively? Okay, that was a little creepy. We were about to find out. What happened? Here in historic downtown Fremont. This whole entire area is centered around Fort Stevenson. Where a young commander with few troops and a single cannon defeated the British in the War of 1812. Connected to hundreds of deaths. Perhaps unsettled souls, says David Thornbury with the Convention and Visitors Bureau. From uh, things showing up in photographs to people visually seeing shadow people appear and walk through doorways. What are shadow people? People really don't know what they are, um, but they seem to be um, where hauntings are. Many have been documented by Chris Page and Orbs, the Ohio researchers for banded spirits. We've caught them on video. We've caught them with still photography. Right there. Unexplained figures like this. But watch right here, you'll see it manifest and walk across the doorway. That's not a person? No. Inside this stately building that once housed the sheriff's family up front with criminals in back. This jail was used for roughly 100 years. Obviously, there was lots of trauma and turmoil that happened over that period. Multiple suicides and criminals like John Radford, who murdered his wife in 1882. He had done something to the children because anytime we bring up, you know, hurting his children, it gets really uncomfortable up here. On the third floor, near the same gallows where Radford's doom reportedly came in a frensy of rage. People had, they, that have had their hair pulled will hear footsteps, will see things that just can't be explained. Anomalies that intensify underground beyond deteriorating execution dockets and menacing iron gates. Uh, strange objects flying through the air, um, disembodied voices that appear. Do you need help? Sound like a um, It definitely, when I first started coming in here, it freaked me out. Inside one of the country's last standing dungeons. You can see where inmates would hold the candles up to the top of the limestone and actually write their names, there's dates, there's initials. RFJL. Including a man who bludgeoned his wife in the 1840s, then took his own life. He bled to death down here in the dungeon. Right where we were filming. Um, During an interview with Carlo Zuzik from creepy. Orbs, something happened with the dungeon lights and door. Doug, why don't you go with them? <laughs> <laughs> you know, okay. okay. No, take the camera. Let's see. The wow. out here. The lights went off out here. That was weird. Because the building was empty and closed for a holiday. It's locked. There's nobody in the building. Okay, so we were there filming. The lights go off. The door shuts on its own. But there's nobody in this building. And we've been down here hundreds of times, and that's never happened. That's never happened. That's never happened. And it wasn't over yet. Yeah, back then, you know, nobody kept, that was weird. Did you hear that? Another yeah. Banging? Repeated footsteps heard overhead. That's like someone's walking heavy footed. That's, a, that's mm -hmm. like boot walking. That's like, yeah, back and forth, like boom, boom, stomping almost. Beneath layers of marble and solid hand-carved limestone blocks. So for anything to be heard from the outside world, is kind of, kind of difficult. Looking for answers, we found the building still secured, but a chilling newspaper article about John Radford before being hanged, pacing up and down the floor. Don't believe it? Dave says, come see for yourself, if you dare. It's hard to continue to be a non-believer once something happens to you. In Fremont, Suzanne Stratford, Fox 8 News.